Good morning. Good morning. It is early. Um, Love it. We are on approach to St. Kitts this morning, mm -hmm. but we got up early. We we're what, supposed to get there at eight, eight yeah. maybe clearance by eight fifteen or so. Uh, but it's about seven now, just after, and we're gonna go get some breakfast, I guess, in the dining room. We need fuel. Fuel. <laughs> Give me fire. Give me that which I desire, Ooh. which is um breakfast. I like that. So, but okay. that's Metallica wrote it. But oh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, so dining room is Port Day breakfast, mm -hmm. and yeah, I guess we'll do that. Then we'll come back and we'll talk about our adventure for yeah. the day, and then we'll go have that adventure. And sunscreen. Yeah, and sunscreen to not get um, burnt. More burnt. <laughs> a little burnt yesterday. That's but, our own fault. Oh, anyway. uh, yeah, I guess let's roll out to breakfast. Okay. I'm excited for some St. Kitts. Me too. Dr. E made the joke yesterday. Do you think they have kitties on St. Kitts for you to play with? I really hope so. Is it a cat island? No. All right. His joke was better. Whatever. Just saying. That's Good it. job, Dr. E. Breakfast time. Bad job, Jay. <laughs> St. Kitts horse. No. no. All right, bye. There's no St. Kitts horse. I know. Ooh, that looks like a nice breakfast right there in the hall. Heck yeah. They had a banana? Mm. Oh my gosh. I'm being loud. Dee's got the hiccups up there. She being kind of loud. Oh man. Yes. I'm gonna get me some breakfast just like a king. And you can keep on hip hiccup king. No, that didn't work. Let's wake up. Wow, fancy corner table. Okay, for us to even be able to fit both of our menus on this table, we would have to take everything else off of the table. I, think I mean, right. this thing is like precarious. Oh gosh, about to fall on the floor and break something. I'm trying to wake up and not have hiccups. Not having hiccups would be ideal. Can you hypnotize me not to Yeah, hiccups? you are getting very sleepy. Where's your belly button? <laughs> oh no, okay, bye. I'm about to capture my coffee pour. Thank you. <laughs> no, it's not, but that's okay. He's like, why are you recording everything? Do you, I want blue or pink? Oh. I had to say purple, but I'm not awake. Again, actually from St. Kitts this yeah. time. We are docked. The gangway is open, at least one of the gangways. And we are off on an adventure today. So Guess what so. we're doing? We're in beach mode. We're going to the beach. We're going to beach. the beach. Um, I stumbled across a uh, the Facebook group, mm -hmm. the roll call group for this cruise, had arranged an event today, which is with Liz Pereira Tours, and we are taking a shuttle bus down to Reggae Beach, Reggae Beach Bar. We've heard about it. We've always wanted to go, because the last time we were here, everybody's like, oh, I'm going to Reggae Beach. We're like, well, we have a tour, but That's this right. time we're going to go to the beach. Now, we're going to Reggae Beach, which we're I guess excited. is, is Cockleshell Beach, and yeah. the Reggae Beach Bar. But they call it Reggae Beach. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what it's is on. What the tour include? Oh, uh, let's see. I think that's down on the southeast side of the island. Anyway, <laughs> uh, but it's transportation back and forth, and it's a. Mm -hmm. uh, $20 a person, I think they said in the Facebook group. It's pretty far, so that's not bad. Yeah, yeah. true. Uh, pay on arrival, which is always cool. Yeah. Um, what else? I think it said there was a uh, rum it, drink included. You kind of go around Timothy Hill so you can see oh, where the Caribbean City right. meets the Atlantic. Yeah. Um, so a couple of photo ops. And um, you can buy chairs and umbrellas at the beach. Correct. It has a beach bar and grill, and apparently the food is really, really good. Oh. We're probably going to test that today and see. We'll see. And then yeah. each bus votes as to what time they want to come back to the mm -hmm. ship. So we leave uh, 9.30 yep. local time and just come back when we want to come back, I guess, yeah. at the majority vote of the bus. So. And we Googled and it said they'd probably recommend water shoes. Yeah, so, so we're I'm wearing that. mine. Me so too. we'll see. I got some replacements from the ones I busted out last time. But yeah. anyway. Uh, but yeah, we're going to St. Kitts. So. We're going to St. Kitts? Yeah. Like, literally, we're going to get we're, off the ship. We're in St. Kitts. No, no, we're in our cabin right now. Well, our cabin happens to be in St. Kitts. That's true. All right. But we're in the cabin. get going. <laughs> You ready okay. to go? Yeah. Let's start an adventure. Okay. So it's a little early now, but we're going to get off. We didn't really get to explore the port mm -hmm. too much last time, so we're going to see what's at the port and then go on our adventure. Yay! Sounds like a plan. Sounds good. All right. Bye! Bye. <laughs> we almost broke the gangway. Why did it jump like Help! We almost died. The gangway snapped. Just kidding. 
Something must not have quite been in position there, but hey, I helped to get in position. So pretty. Yes. Because we were only here the one time. Yep, this is just our, oh, I feel a couple drops in the sky, but they usually don't last long. Only our second time in St. Kitts. It's raining a little bit on us. Oh my gosh, what is that in front of the ship? Oh, it's just part of the ship. Never mind. Never mind. Hashtag old jokes. Ow. Yeah, we got a little rainbow happening over there. No idea if the camera can see it, but you know what? Maybe. That's our lucky rainbow. Looks like we've got some casino action over there. Lots of shopping. All right, so we are exiting the security area. There's Diamonds International. Oops, it just disappeared behind a uh, little pavilion. Lazy Lizard, Diamonds International. I see the little store right there called Smoke and Booze, which is where they're going to be picking us up here shortly. But we're a little early, so we're looking at shopping. Another little shopping. Oh my gosh, I got a shark up there. <laughs> Grand Souvenir Discount Center. Hi. All kinds of shopping. <laughs> I think they said this was our first major shopping port on this cruise. They said the St. Croix, there's not a ton of shopping. No. But St. Kitts, they say, come prepared to shop. Well, there's some of our representatives sitting right there, Pereira Tours. And this is where you meet, is right in front of Smoke and Booze. Well, that was super easy to find, just outside the duty-free building. It is warm. The sun has come out. The rain is already gone. Yeah, D gonna be red by the end of today. Ah, sharkies, souvenirs, and all of that stuff. But ran into Carl and Joyce right out here in the shopping center. They're coming on the tour with us today. It's very pretty out here. Oh, ye noble knight, keeper of the Wi-Fi, Sir Wiffy, we salute you. All right, D went in the store over here. Oh no, this is a shirt that goes pa. You got a shirt that goes, I don't even know what noise a flamingo makes. That, that's not a, not a noise, ma'am. I realize that. Ooh, they got some fancy dress shirts you could wear to dinner. Yeah, they kind of look a little casual, but they're still cool. And you got a monkey on your back. Hmm. Lily Pulitzer. Wow, you can get you a, yeah, it really does kind of look like Lily Pulitzer. Lily Pulitzer, I can't even say it. Is it Pulitzer or Pulitzer? Pulitzer. All right, continuing along on the shopping area that goes on forever. They've got more shops down there. Historic Basseterre National Museum. You can go to Cheers. Look, everybody knows your name in that place. Norm. Oh, they have Wi-Fi? Sweet, Piranha Joe. This place just goes on and on and on. A little food court back there to get some snacks. Dee is going to come talk to her ladies over here. Hey, ladies. Hey, girl, hey, where'd you get that dress? Oh, that was cool. Hey, girl, why'd you lose the top of your body? Oh. They do have those cool Christmas ornaments. Yep, turtles. They got dolphins up there. Those are cute. Yeah, we do. All right, I think we made a wise decision. It has a cruise ship and dolphins and a turtle and a, well, a shark. Some fish, <laughs> some coral. Wow. That's cute. Can't you picture that on our tree already? Yes, I can. <laughs> Back to ship. Not yet. Don't you be telling us what to do, sign. We wandered over to the uh, food court area and they are advertising a pool open. And then look at there. Like it might be a hot tub connected to it. Wow. Yeah, um, I don't know, actually. That'd be weird if the hot tub water flowed directly into the pool. But no, it actually could. It kind of does look like a hot yeah. tub down there. We should uh, get some info on this. I know. Like go We're going to have to Google up and do some research as to how you get access to this pool. But it's right here in the middle of the oh, food wow. court. That's cool. That's awesome. See, we're doing research. We are doing all the smart stuff. We're smart sometimes. <laughs> Occasionally. Let's go ask somebody. Uh, okay. And let's find the park. Hey, nope. how's the pool? No. Like you have to go actually ask somebody, not just shout at random people. How about that guy down there working on the air conditioner? <laughs> hey. Oh. Okay. They even have a batik shop here. We visited Romney Manor last time we came to the island. So that's kind of cool. Welcome to Smoke and Booze, where you can find booze and, well, there's probably smoke in here too. 
There we go. They got a walk-in humidor. What? That's stinking cute. Guys. That's a slipper. Oh wow! You can put your foot right in a flamingo's backside. Awesome. It doesn't even have feet. How sad is that? I don't know. You have to give him your feet. That's how it works. Oh, right. You only need one though. That's true. For him to be a proper flamingo. Look. We have a llama. I found a duck. Yes, <laughs> our first duck sighting. That's funny. All right. You have to buy that one. You can't. Dag on it. Fairly certain. Oh, there's that pure white again. Everybody talks about thirty-nine dollars. Yeah. I found Jay's perfect socks. Fun socks. Well, if only it wasn't a lady's ankle sock, we might be in business. Friend. Friend. Sheep. Sheep. <laughs> nice. The camera's focused on the background, but anyway, close enough. <laughs> uh, Okay. All right, we are on the move, bus number one. Yeah, he's stepping out. Wow. All right, safari truck. How are you? Beautiful. One o'clock. I think you just called us beautiful and stopped talking. Aww, I, appreci yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> We're so beautiful. My name is Kasim. I'm your tour guide for the day. First set by the French in 1625. Basitea wow. in French means lowlands, as Basitea is as flat as a coin. Yes, right. Basitea is all for Federation's political capital. Oh my gosh. Flaps of the eight Caribbean states are flown high, right in front of the bank. Stake its leaves is included. Man, I almost didn't see that truck. Yeah, got <laughs> camouflage. <laughs> are you in my shot? A stop at Timothy Hill so we can come over here and look again at the beauty and marvel of nature. It's probably one of the most beautiful places. And we can listen to the local radio too, which is always <laughs> exciting. But we get to see where the ocean meets the sea and stuff. If you ever get a chance to get up here and see this view, you got to do it. Some of the folks on the bus were like, ah, I've been here before, I'm not getting off the bus. Get off the bus! Get off the bus and come look at this. Atlantic Ocean on one side, Caribbean Sea on the other side. And we can't be on top of the hill without doing a Timothy Hill spin. I mean, it just makes sense, right? You got both sides with my big noggin in the way. This is some award-winning stuff right here. I'm gonna win a big noggin award. One more. But look, we got D in that spin. Hey, that's where they keep their Ds, right there. <laughs> Timothy Hill. They do have a donkey down there. Can we go ride the donkey? He's got a saddle on him. You go on that donkey ride. Donkey would fall over. That's true. <laughs> I would, I would squish that donkey. <laughs> All right, back to the bus, and they do have some vendors here that you can, you know, stop and buy some stuff from. Super cool little spot to stop. Oh yeah, I gotta come look off the other side. I forgot about that. He's like, wait a minute. Boom, boom, boom. Hello. <laughs> well, she got back on the bus. D got back on the bus, but we got to come over here and look at this other photographic panoramic shot as well. So there is the other spot, the other side of this stop. A little bit of money. I guess we get to go through that little tunnel. Jennifer. 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 Gosh. Gosh, I'm glad we got Jennifer's attention. Man. Welcome to the Reggae Beach, folks. Here 
is where the body is. Welcome to Reggae Beach. Yeah. Two chairs and umbrella. Yeah. Two chairs and umbrella two sounds two good. Umbrellas. <laughs> I want two chairs and five umbrellas. <laughs> I need some, some shade. We've got some stuff reserved for you guys already, but oh, okay. as you can oh. see, it's uh, okay. not busy at all. So wherever you guys want to get set up, we're not. All right, thank you. What's on the top of it? Not me. Oh. Yeah, just making sure. <laughs> there you go. Rum punch. A little nutmeg action. Yes. All right, so we have gotten all settled in. We got our two chairs and our umbrella. D is probably getting ready for water mode. We've heard that the swimming over here is pretty good. If you want to see fish, you kind of have to go over to this little rocky area. So kind of the best of both worlds. We're going in water mode here at Cockleshell Beach. Glad I brought the water shoes. We do have some rocks happening. I mean, it looks nice and sandy out there in the water. D has already gotten a head start on me. But you can see some rocks up here. And I think you get some of that volcanic sand. I believe it's volcanic. It's black anyway. Oh, she's all snorkel geared up. Except, you know, she needs that camera. Looks a little cloudy out here, but we'll see what kind of stuff she can capture over by the rock wall. And we are in the water. I'm sure I have sunscreen all over my face, smudged and all that mess, because I am no good at putting on the sunscreen. I try to put it on my arm, rubbing, 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 rub. It won't go in my arm, my arm turns white. Such a rough life, I'm telling you. But at least hopefully I will be protected. <sighs> so this is a super nice looking beach. Don't know how clear the water is. Well, you know what? I can see my hand down there. So just because it's a little bit greeny, I guess, doesn't mean she won't get some good fish footage and it won't be clear. A really nice scenic drive over here. Oh, we got a resort over there with some aqua toys. Kind of over there in the distance, I see a green and yellow kind of inflatable slide. I'm not exactly sure what property that is. Cool. We might sneak down there and see if we can play on them. We're not, we're not, we're not really going to sneak down there. That would be rude. There she is a hunting. I don't really see any kind of a buoy line or area that says, hey, stop swimming here. I mean, there's a buoy and, you know, a buoy there. But, oh, I see some buoys over there. Huh. Hopefully I'm not down here in a bad zone because the buoys are over there and there's no buoys over here. Freedom! But we can see all the way over to the island of Nevis over there. And I know the guy said that the Atlantic Ocean kind of coming between St. Kitts and Nevis, it makes like a nice little area. You got some waves breaking, lots of f -f fish. So we'll just float out here and do a nice casual St. Kitts spin. The water is nice and refreshing. It took a little bit of adjusting to get into. It was a little chillier than I thought it was going to be, but it is nice. Joyce are still up there somewhere. I believe they are going to eventually come hit the water. And we also have D up there in her chair. That's another D. The D that gave my D her earrings is the same D that I think was kind of one of the, the heads of this event on the Facebook, in the Facebook group. Roll call page. That's what it is. 
I might just have to come climb up on this boat and see if I can get it started. All right, we're not, we're not, we're not doing that either. Okay, we're just gonna swim, have a good time. We're not stealing boats. We're not sneaking into aqua parks. I guess if D comes up with a lot of good fish footage, we could like uh, buy that little piece of the island. There's a for sale sign right over there. So this whole mountain could be ours. Make your donations now to support the Para DJ Needs a Mountain on an Island Fund. You can find us on Patreon, PayPal, v v P Venmo, and Bitcoin. And no, I'm just saying words now. Don't, we're not, we're not going to buy an island. We're, no, we're not going to do it. I mean, maybe. No. So this was a super convenient tour option though. I think um, in judging what the Facebook group says, there's actually a group because I think the Pride does this journey's cruise or something very similar to it every November, I think. And there's a group that always sails this November journey's cruise. And part of that group always books with Liz Pereira tours to come do this reggae beach excursion. So this seems to be kind of a constant thing. So if you get in your Facebook group roll call, you should be able to find Liz Pereira Tours. She does most of her business on Facebook. She's got a website. I'll put all the links and stuff down in the description of this video. But if you get on the Facebook group, she sort of makes it an event and you just get in there and check in and she'll hook you up with a spot. And that open air safari bus was actually really fun. Last time we did the tour around the island, we were kind of in a bus that has shorter windows, and so we're kind of crouched down, you know, trying to see out the windows. But this was nice and tall, and I don't know, I liked it. That was a fun ride. So the bus, uh, you decide, each bus decides on a mutual return time. Like half the bus voted on 2 o'clock, and half the bus voted 3 o'clock, so we settled on 2.30. So I think we got here just after 10 o'clock, and we'll be here until 2.30, then we'll head back, and that should put us back at the ship at about 3 o'clock, and all aboard time is 4.30. All right, what's the fish footage update? So, lots of sea urchins. Oh, I was just wondering. I remember, yeah. All right. And a yeah. little bit of fish. Yeah. Okay. I was wondering about the sea urchins. Right. Tons of sea urchins. All right, sea urchin so beach. Just be careful where you step. Yeah, I got my water shoes on. I'm excited. Yeah, definitely recommend water shoes. Oh, yeah. Because even over there, you can't get super close to the rocks because there's all kinds of rocks that come out and jet into okay. the board, so. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. Are you too busy smiling at the sea urchins? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, D is off to find some more urchins and crazy stuff. The sun kind of went away, so hopefully, right hopefully it's a little clear. For a minute. Maybe by the time you get out there, the sun will have returned. And there is Miss Liz herself coming down to take some pictures of folks having fun, giving some thumbs ups. That's awesome. Uh oh, I'm gonna be, take, I'm gonna be taking a video of Liz taking a picture of me. Well, I was just joking about D swimming to Nevis, but you probably can't even see her on this camera, but she is right out there off the point of the island here, seeing all the things, I guess. So if she ends up in Nevis, like she'll look up and be like, oh, let me swim back to the island. She'll be on Nevis before she knows it. She might not even know to come back to St. Kitts. My goodness.
you have been out there for like two hours I looking think I at stuff. The Atlantic yeah, you did. You were all the way off the point down there. So, holy moly. Ooh. Have you seen some stuff? It's, I kept wanting to turn back, and then I'm like, ooh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And then there was a puffer fish that kept leading me to pretty fish. Uh, of so. course. Distracting you from ooh. more and more pretty stuff. I'm tired now. Oh, well, yeah. We might need to get you back up to that beach. Sunscreen. Oh, that too. Reapply. All right. Ooh, wee. Well, no, I saw some really cool stuff. That's good. Brain coral, fan coral, okay. color coral. Not really any. Uh, something at one point jumped in the water and scared a bunch of fish, and I was kind of like, hmm, what was that? <laughs> I didn't see anything, but I could see it like do that and splash. Mm. So I kind of moved away from that. Funny. <laughs> Just yep. in case. Yeah, a little dangerous. But yeah. All right, well, you've been seeing coral. Ooh. I've been seeing Carl. I've been hanging out with Carl and Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool. Man, I swam. Yeah, way you out there. you went far. Holy cow. Because, I mean, we're still, we're still pretty, pretty far. far from the beach. I was like, I bet he's checking on me. Yeah. Oh, I appreciate I that. I had to come find you. Can't let you drift over to Nevis. We'd have to come get you. Is that it right there? Yeah, that's Nevis over on oh, the other side. There. I know. That's not that far. That's what I said is you'd stick your head up out of the water and you'd see land and swim toward it and it would be Nevis. You'd be going to the wrong <laughs> island. So I probably would. I don't I know. know. No, don't look at that sunburn now. Hold on now. Y'all avert your eyes. Y'all quit looking. Quit looking. Quit looking. 